Let's talk about the different parts of the carpel and the stamen, and we'll see how to remember them as well. So in a previous video, we spoke about the four major parts of the flower and we saw also saw what they do. We also saw unisexual and bisexual flowers. If you need more details on that, you can go back and check out our video on flowers, unisexual and bisexual, okay? So over here, let's only focus on the reproductive parts, the carpel and the stamen. So let me get rid of these others. All right, so let's start with the stamen. What are the different parts of the stamen that we can identify? So stamen can have two major parts. So the part below over here, which is like kind of like a wire, we call that the filament. This is the filament. And that the part on top of that, kind of like the head of the stamen, we call that the anther. Anther. And guess what? Anther produces something called the pollen grains. You may have heard of this. Pollen grains. These dotted things that I've drawn over here that you may be able to see, they are what pollen grains are. Sometimes these pollen grains, some flowers have these pollen grains to be very sticky. In such cases, when you touch them, they will stick to your hand, right? And it's inside these pollen grains where you will find the sperm cells. So the sperm cells of the flower are found inside the pollen grains. All right, let's do the female parts now. The female reproductive part, the carpel or the pistil, they can be further divided into three major parts. So the topmost part is called the stigma. The part below, it's a long structure over here, it's called the style. And uh, this structure over here is what we call the ovary. It's inside the ovaries you'll find these structures over here, which you can see, these seed-like structures, they're not seeds yet, but these seed-like structures, they are called ovules. And guess what? It's inside uh, these ovules you will find the egg cells. All right, so again, let me just write that over here. The egg cells, the egg cells are found inside these ovules. So if you have more than one ovules, if a flower has more than one ovules, as you can see over here, each ovule will have an egg cell. And so you can kind of see now how far away the sperm cells are from the egg cells. For reproduction to happen, they have to fuse. And so one of the first steps of reproduction is the transfer of the pollen grains from the anther on to the stigma. And from there, the sperms will have to find a way to reach the sperm cells, sorry, the egg cells. But of course, that's gonna happen in the future videos. This transfer is what we call the pollination. Right, and we'll see in the future videos how bees and other insects play an important role in this pollination feature. Anyways, these are the important parts of the stamen and the carpel. Now comes the big question, how do we remember this? So to remember this, I want you to look at this picture. Trust me, this weird picture will help you, okay? So this middle part is the female reproductive part. Let's see how, I, how this helps me to remember. Bottom, I've drawn an egg. Egg reminds me of the ovary. That's like the easiest part for me to remember. So the egg is the ovary. On top of the egg, there is a tile. This is a tile. Tile rhymes with style. So this is how I remember style. Again, I knew the word style. I just had to remember where does style go and this style helps me remember. And then on top of that, what is the symbol? This is the symbol of sigma, sigma, Reminds me of stigma, okay? So if I ever get confused, hey, which is stigma? Oh, this is the, this is the stigma, it's sigma, stigma. Okay, and you can see they're balancing on top of each other and the stigma is about to fall, it's going to fall on the car, car fall, car fell, car pell. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's car pell for me. So the whole thing is car pell, okay? 
Let's come to the male part. What have I drawn? Why do I have, I have drawn bulbs? Because I know there's a filament and filament reminds me of the filament of the bulb and that's how I remember, ha, ah, this is the filament. And what is it on the top of that filament? I see ants, but not just any ants, I see these beautiful female ants, ant her, anther, ant her. So again, I know ant her, but I, then the, the moment I hear ant her, if I remember this picture, I know how anthers are over here, the top part of the male reproductive part. And we know what these anthers are saying, the, the female ants are telling all the male ants, stay there, men, stay there, men. So, stay men. And that's pretty much it. Now we remember both the male reproductive part and the female reproductive part. And at first you might be wondering, how do I remember this weird picture? Well, the thing is, weird things are actually easier to remember because that's how our memory works. Our memory, our brains tend to hold on to weird information. So take a look at this picture a little bit and then you'll be able to do this, all right? So in fact, let me prove it to you. Now, I want you to pause the video, take a look at this picture and see if you can name all the parts of this flower. Go ahead, give it a try. So could you do it? If you could, Awesome. If you couldn't, no worries, you can go back and rewatch the video. The last thing I want you to do is to be able to memorize this picture, right? So what you can do now is take a look at this picture very nicely again, pause the video, and then close your eyes and see if you can visualize this entire picture. Remember all the things, the egg, the, the ants, the sigma, the car fell part and everything. All right? So once you're done with that, you'll be able to answer, you'll be able to label all the parts.